just another package manager for Java. A small demo project where we'll show how you can turn an application from BND tools into a command line application. We create demo projects using a standard template for declarative services to show Hello World when the bundle gets started. It's a standard template, so we won't go into details. We'll run the application as an OCI run project, which will show the Hello World in the console. That's all. We have a full-blown framework that we can use in a normal way. And in BND tools, we can make changes to our source file, and we can immediately see the updated bundle running. We're stopping this run, and now we're going to create a BND run file, which is kind of a recipe for your runtime environment. Create a runtime descriptor, we also call it demo. Uh, we use the Apache Web Console because it gives a lot of diagnostic information, and it actually has a web server as well. Uh, we're running it, but we don't see the hell world. We see that we have the web server running uh, and a lot of other stuff. But the Hello World is not standard included, so we'll have to add that. Uh, we can add that to the latest demo version. We go to the source, save it, and we see the Hello World again. But now we go to the command line. And on the command line, we can run this with BND, the underlying tool of BND tools, and that seems to work fine. But we still need BND there, and we would like to be a first class citizen. This is what we want, just to type in demo. So, what we can do is package uh, the demo. Uh, this will create a jar file. Uh, Demo.jar is the default name. And we can run this with a normal Java command. There's a hello world, and we can also start shell. Let's go to the Java Package Manager. The Java Package Manager is not installed at the moment. We can install it as follows. It's just a small shell script that will download it and install itself as the first command. Uh, as you can see, it's installed now. And that means that we can now actually run it from the command line. Uh, it is extensive help. So you can ask for help install. Now we want to turn our application into a command in the operating system. We first add some standard headers because the jar has to go into a repository, so we need to bundle version, bundle symbolic name, we reuse the OCI metadata, and the GPN command, which will be the command name. So we repackage the run file. We look at the header, we see we have the GPM command. Still no demo, but we now, with DPM, we install it. We'll need to be super user, so we have to give a password. We've installed it, and now we can run demo as a first-class citizen. Now we want to install it as a service, because services are very different in different operating systems. Uh, we can specify different arguments for the service. We package the demo pay and rerun again, which will create another YAR, and now we'll have the service header. We overwrite the existing command, so we'll have to use force. And now we can just say gpm start demo, which starts the service. And let's see if that works. We'll go to a web store server and we'll access the web console. Works fine. Does it really work? Let's stop the demo. We go to the web server. No web server anymore. We go back and we restart. Logging and tracing is built into the service model. So if you look, you see the output. There's a standard log file associated with every service. Um, but we can also turn tracing on. And if we look at the log file now, then we'll see that it actually sends a message after a couple of seconds. We can stop the demo. And this will also be logged. And we can uh, look at the data available. We can see what services are running. We can see what services uh, are. We need to clean up as well, so we clean up the jar, which of course requires super user, we have no service anymore, and the command is gone as well. Thank you for watching.